I've been, been very busy today. Very busy. But I got done. Those two pieces are up. And they were, this corner was definitely the worst in the whole house that, that I've done with chair rail. I got this little piece up too. And this took some doing. But uh, there's my cut. It's raw, of course. Uh, no caulking or anything. And I can't, I can't do anything about this because there's nothing, nothing to tie it in. So I'm just happy it's in there. It looks pretty decent. Of course, it'll look even better with a little bit of caulking and uh, paint. Paint. Got the rough edges on the top, so I'm put those on. But this is the story of. The day. Oops. Yeah, I knew that was gonna fall. This is the story of the day. Put that down there. Oh. This one, as I knew it would be. Uh, remember my last video? That was def that was like a quarter of an inch. Now it's ooh, an eighth or less. Same way with this one. What I did was, you can see, I just had to shave shave some of this back. There's no other way I could do it. It was just too big of a gap. And hopefully it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I, now it's, it's it's just a raw edge, you know. It's I did the best I could. Even I even had to uh, let me sit down. I'll show you because I had uh, you can see my camera will focus, focus, focus. Thank you. You can see it. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, this this was sticking out further and it was making this angle really just bizarre and do weird things so I had to compromise you know I just had to compromise and work with it so if I can if I can work with it to, uh, to make it look like it it's okay even at, when, it, when it's painted and all that be happy but yeah right now it doesn't look so good of course but give me some time that looks pretty good right there see this one was out further that's why this is sanded and this one's not because it was sticking out further over here. I'm, on my, I'm on my rolling chair see you can tell you can just tell how, how that was All right. come around yeah I mean, this angle was, what did I have, 25, 26? So, I figured, well, maybe I'll make this one a little bit fatter and make this one a little bit fatter, and that's why the gap is there. And I, even though I tried to sand this part of it, I'm thinking, well, I'll, I'll just make this disappear. I'll put, some, I'll put some magic stuff in there and make it disappear. <laughs> magic stuff. So, yeah, this is definitely, this was definitely the worst corner of the house. On a happy note, uh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. All right. Uh, I have some plans, so we'll see. But anyway, um, what's up? Now, uh, the amount of material I have left. I have, uh, it's in the garage. I have one board. I have one board left. I'll show you real quick. It's on the saw. There it is. I took a measure. Let's see what was this measurement? Let's see. I got all my stuff in the way. 129 inches. I have a hundred. That's it. I have a hundred and twenty-nine. Oh, oh, and I get this one too. That's right. Oh, good. I forgot about this one. All right. Yeah. See, I forgot about that one. Let's bring this one inside. And this one's already got a corner on it, cut. So I'm hoping to leave that in a corner somewhere. This one does not have a corner cut. I've been, I've been busy. I'm tired. But I got what I wanted done today. I mean, this one, this just took forever. This took forever, right here. It took forever because I had to 
sand and sand a little bit and go go play, look at it and sand and go look at it and sand and go look at it. Then when I cut the angles, this one I already had, this one was cut, that's no big deal. But then when I was trying to marry this one to this one, I had to sand, go look at it, sand, go look at it, yada, yada, yada. And this thing, of course, this was easy, but this one took a little bit of doing with the saw. So, but, and that's done. So that actually was faster than I thought it was going to be. So I got 129 inches and I got this. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven walls left. Seven cuts left. Alright, and I got this. What can I use this for? See, this is not gonna <laughs> this is not gonna help me too much. Do this. I got that left over. So this is this is here basically with this waist. So between this waist and this waist, I could do that corner. Right? So I got this one. So that means between the 129 inches in the garage, I have one, two, three, four walls to do. And we can check that real quick. Of course, it's not going to be easy with, with, uh, with one hand. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I tell you what, I might have to, might have to pause this because otherwise my hands are going to be all over the camera. All right, let's see. Let's try it. And if I fail, I fail. Okay, so we got 25 here and 12, but I'll make that 13. So 13 and 25 is what? 38. Okay. 38. So I come down here and I've got 38. Let's do it. Let's, let's be sneaky. 38. Where's my 38? Ooh, my computer's talking to me. It's been doing it a lot. Okay, here's 38. All right, 38. So pardon, 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 pardon everything. Hold on. 38. And 96. All right, I got 96 inches. Quick math from uh, 129, so four and, nine, and 29 is 31, so just under three feet. All right, just under three feet left, give or take. 31, where is it? There you are. Two feet seven inches. So, all right, did I? Did I, comp did I account for everything? I think so. Because um, this one's going to do one of these walls down here. This one. All right. Can't do anything else. Can't do both of these. So the longer of the two. So that's, that's this one. And the waist from here will do. And this one will do that corner. So that leaves one, two, three, four, and 129 inches. So I think I'm good. Which, you know, I, I had more, I had more left over than I thought. I, I thought I was going to be down to, you know, about a foot. But and that still might happen. I mean, anything's possible. You know, I don't want to jinx myself, but anything's possible. All right, so here we are, right, right in the middle of the hallway. You know? Oh, and I'm, I'm tired. This thing, you know, I, I don't want to have to caulk it all crazy, you know, crazy caulk, but uh, it's looking pretty darn good. I did, I didn't want to sand like right, you know, like this. I didn't want to have to sand this way and to mush it down. I wanted to sand the sides to make it still a corner, you know, you know what I mean? Because it still looks like a corner. It's not a pretty corner right yet, but I didn't want to just sand everything down going that way. I wanted to sand it down this way, right, to bring it to this side. 
And with this side, obviously I wanted to sand it this way to bring it down to this side. So, um, this one could probably use one more staple there. I think, here, let me, let me do this real quick. Oh, I got you, because I don't think you've seen me do this. Uh, I still have staples. You can see them right there. All right, see right where my finger fingernail is? And I still have juice. I still have air. So we're going to do this one right here. All right, right, and there should be. All right, hold on a sec. I always like to unplug my gun when I'm done. Uh, because you never know when when that might oh that, that's a safety feature and you know you just never know so oh, you can see how many yeah I got good staples on that side too I mean the same you know I just have good good staples in there so um so this is pretty good yeah, this one is. all right hold on let me do that one too okay, this one's very easy just take it and mm -hmm, you don't want to you don't want to angle down too much. You got to get the right angle because you want to go into the meat of the wood. And there we go. All right, check it. That's good. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to undo my thing. Okay. All right, I almost lost the gun on my lap because you can't do things with the camera with one hand when you're working with tools a lot of times. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to mess around. I'm going to sand around a little bit more until I'm happy with it and then of course you get to caulking and uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint it there's a lot of work that needs to be done on this one but you can see where I'm uh, where I have all my studs you know where there where there ever there's a staple there's a stud because I did that and I, I really like my my uh, my putting my level on the wall and uh, ha having my tape um, Having having to tape, uh, you know, for my studs. That's a really nice, convenient thing. Uh, so here we go. Here we are. Um, I'm I, I'm definitely down for the day. Uh, let's see. Let's close my door. sides. I mean it's quite possible that this is a little bit lower than that side but it's okay. I think originally and it's because of that light switch. I think that's what it is. I think this is this might be 141 and or even less. I don't, I'm not going to take my tape out because I can already tell uh, and you could probably tell too but ooh, it's just mm, it could be the lighting. I, I'll leave it at that. It could be the lighting. All right but I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way this all came out, and I can't wait to uh, to put some caulking on here, and then to paint it. Yeah, that'd be nice. And I'm liking. I like how this piece came out too. I was thinking about not doing my my relief, but I'm thinking, well, no, it's a door jam, or I mean, it's a door casing. And I mean, not getting that cut was hard, but I mean, I, I like the way it came out. So I'm happy with that. And I'm glad I put the uh, my relief, my 30 degree relief in there. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, because if I was thinking, well, I'll just leave it, you know, I'll leave it stick out. And I'm like, no, nah, that looks kind of look stupid. Put your relief in there, you know, like everything else. Put your relief. So there it is. Whew. Yeah, I am tired. I tell you what. And I haven't been drinking, I, you know, I need to, I'm going to have a glass of tea and uh, chill out. It's almost uh, closing time. Let's see what time is it. It's like, it's already dark. You know, it's already dark out here. i got to put my bike, my bike in the shop. I close my shop down and uh, just do all that stuff. So... Piece of wood. What is that? A piece of wood down there? Uh, yeah, yes it is. Where'd that come from? Oh, I had to. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I did. I had to use a uh, um, 
chisel. To chisel out. Because that's the only that was the easiest way I could think of to do it. I had to uh, chisel out this piece right here. The the straight piece going down. I had to chisel that out. Once I made this curved piece, there was there was just a piece left over before I did my review my relief. Uh, so I chis I chiseled that out and then I did the relief. So and it, and it came out fine. You can't even tell. Well, actually, what I oh, I take that back. Yes, I did. Okay, I did this cut, and then I did a cut along the top with a saw, not just deep enough to get to that point right there. I see that. Then there was something left over that my saw couldn't get to, and that's what I had to chisel out. That and that's so that's what that's what took a lot the longest was you know figuring out how to how to make this look like this, and it looks pretty darn good. So you know. It looks pretty darn good. I probably could have cut this piece now that I'm looking at it. But I think I'll just leave it because it's, I'm not perfect. And neither are these walls. <laughs> so it's not going to be a perfect job. And not nearly as, I mean, I, I'm spending so much time on it. One of my neighbors, one of my old neighbors that moved out, she got married, Millie. Millie came by and uh, she moved out to, uh, to, uh, just south of here, and I and she, you know, she said, "Yeah, I want to see what it looks like when it's done." Yada yada. I said, "Well, I've been working on this thing for a month." But anyway, I've been going out so in and out so many times today that you would think that I want I want it to be perfect, but it's not going to be. All right, this thing is way too long. I'm going to leave you with this shot right here. Wait, let me back up a little bit and make it look nice. We'll bring it in some. Oh, my water bottle's there and everything. So what? Okay, that's, uh, I'll give you some more later.